Whew, I guess we gotta talk about this, right? You know, I'm still not sure exactly where DC is going right now. I am 100% not sure exactly what this whole new gimmick they got going on, what is their vision on the whole, you know, cinematic universe type thing. Um, I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not feeling it, you know? Like, hear me out, guys. I, <clears throat> I enjoyed the Snyderverse. I enjoyed the Snyderverse. I was anticipating on seeing where the Snyderverse was going from here. Like, I like Henry Cavill as Superman. I like Ben Affleck as Batman. I like Ray Fisher as Cyborg. Like, why is it that when it comes to DC, like, they don't know what they're doing with their movies? You know, we it's like we spend all this time building something only for it to just be rebooted just like that. Just like that. Like, you put so much time and effort, and not only that, you want to rush it. And all because it didn't, you know, succeed in the way you wanted it to, now we just pull the plug and we're just going to reboot the whole thing. We're going to reboot it. Well, what was the purpose of that? Just tell me what was the whole purpose of rebooting everything? You pick what worked, get rid of what didn't, which, by the way, Henry Cavill, Ben Affleck worked, but you want to get rid of them and replace them with Batgirl and Supergirl. I understand that a lot of people feel nostalgic for having Michael Keaton return as the de facto Batman of this universe, but just, I mean, what can he do, you know? Like, no offense to Michael Keaton, but he's old. We want a Batman who's in the cow, who's out there fighting crime, not someone that's behind a chair pretending to be like a Nick Fury-like figure to the new coming heroes. It doesn't work that way for me. I still, to this day, feel like we have not seen the full potential of Ben Affleck's Batman. Yet, the full potential of Henry Cavill's Superman. We just haven't. Instead, we just take what, what a lot of people considered work, remove that out, put something that a lot of people did not ask for, and expect it to be successful. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't. No one asks for a Batgirl so soon, let alone a Batgirl to take place for Batman. No one asks for a Supergirl to pretty much take place of Superman. No one asks that. Like, that is something that I wanted to see develop. Not someone that just shows up out of nowhere and just takes the place of the two most iconic heroes of all time. It's, it's not. That's not cool. It's not. I Granted, I know we're getting Robert Patterson's Batman next month. I'm still deciding if I want to see that or not. I have nothing against, you know, Robert Pattinson, nothing against. It's just the fact that I've grown into liking Ben Affleck's Batman that seeing a whole new Batman is just, to me, it's just too soon. It's just too soon. We are already getting Dwayne The Rock Johnson's Black Adam movie, which I will say that's probably the only DC movie I will probably see is Black Adam. We're also getting a sequel to Aquaman. Um, given that the first one did well, it's... That can go both ways for me. There's talks of doing a third Wonder Woman movie. And then we also got Shazam Fury of the Gods. But other than that, like, there's really nothing else that I'm looking forward to. I'm not really looking forward to any of the HBO series that they got out right now. Like, I haven't seen Peacemaker yet. I know people are saying Peacemaker is great. I just, you know, haven't really found the time to just, you know, click on the series and decide to watch the first episode, see what it was like. I didn't. I honestly didn't don't want to see any of the Matt Reeve universe become into an HBO series like Gotham PD or The Penguin or Catwoman. Like, I don't want to see those. That's not what I want to see. I mean, I'm sure that there are some people that want to, but that's not what I want to see. Like, I don't really want to invest my time in watching something that doesn't seem interesting to me. I mean, it's bad enough that we already um, uh, have like the others, you know, CW shows so far, like The Flash is still going on. I stopped watching The Flash after season five. I stopped watching Legends of Tomorrow after season three. I never really watched Batwoman. I enjoyed Black Lightning. I did enjoy Arrow. Supergirl, I rarely... I actually stopped watching Supergirl mid of season three. Now, I do love Superman and Lois. I will say that is probably a great Superman show. But other than that, I don't know what else to say. I mean, I'm not sure what DC is doing right now. And it just really pains me to know that I feel like they just either don't have a vision or they just don't have a passion no more. It's just to them, it's just money. 
I miss the good old days where we had Justice League Unlimited, Justice League, Superman the Animated Series, Batman the Animated Series, Batman Beyond, Static Shock. All those shows way back in the early 2000s, those were the DC shows I grew up and hoping that I was going to see in the big screen. But we don't got that. We don't. We don't. Sorry, I had to take my glasses off. This is really serious. I don't. It just, it just pains me. I know DC can do this, but I just don't think they want to put in the time for it. They just want something that's, you know, well popular, that's going to bring them some money. You know, success takes time. And if you rush something, it ain't going to be successful. I mean, Man of Steel, to some people, weren't a, wasn't a good Superman movie, but it was a good Superman that we had so far. BBS to this day is still being talked about, and yet people hate it, people love it. But at the end of the day, it was there. I mean, we was able to see two of our two of the most iconic heroes on the same screen together. Heck, we even got a Justice League movie. And I'm not talking about the one that came out in 20, 2017. I'm talking about the one that we saw last year in 2021, the Zack Snyder version. A Justice League in a movie. We got that. Like, I don't know what else you want us to say. I mean, what we thought was never going to happen or was going to take a while, it actually happened. It may not have worked into their favor, but it worked in the fans' favor. We enjoyed it. We love it. And now, I just don't know anymore. I just don't know. I guess all we can do is just see where this goes. For those who are DC fans, I know you guys feeling the same way I'm feeling. Because right now, I don't, I'm not sure what is the you know vision for DC. Comic-wise, they're doing great. Video games, they're doing awesome. Even though Suicide Squad got delayed and, you know, possibly Gotham Knights, who knows? But, you know, I just, I'm just don't know or I'm very unsure of what the vision of the DCEU is going to be. But let me, let me know what you guys think about this. Please, I would love to hear opinions or, you know, statements or, or something about, or anything about how you feel about the direction of DC. Because... I'm a big DC fan, you know, and I've been riding with them since the beginning, since I was born. But it just pains me to see the way that, you know, DC is being treated. Sometimes I wish Warner Brothers didn't own the rights to DC. I wish that DC had his own studio where they can do exactly what they is best for them. But hey, I'm just that I'm just a DC fan just giving out suggestions. So I hope everyone's having a great Taco Tuesday <laughs> or Tacular Tuesday, I would love, I normally would say. But, you know, again, just leave a like, like this video. If you like, if you want to say anything, comment in the video. I would love to hear you guys' thoughts on it. Until then, you hear it, Kent Wayne. Be breezy.